Okay, I want to show you a warm-up exercise that I like to do pretty much every morning before I get started on my real practice. Um, this exercise is going to increase your knowledge of whatever scales you're working on. It's also going to improve your rhythm a lot. So it gets pretty intense towards the end, so hopefully you can, uh, you can hang and uh, we'll see. So let's get into it. So this exercise is gonna, um, you can use it with any scale. You can do this exercise with any scale, but just for the sake of simplicity, let's use the C major scale. So we're gonna need to know the C major scale. We're gonna need a metronome, and I think that's about it, and your guitar. So let's uh, get that stuff together. I'm gonna get my metronome ready. So I've got my metronome going at 50 beats per minute and we're going to use this we're going to start with this c major scale we'll go through all of them so this uh c major scale starts from c on the sixth string with the second finger and we're going to do two notes per click and we're going to go through each pair of notes c and d d and e e and f f and g and so on but we're going to alternate ascending and descending so we're going to ascend c to d and then the next pair we're going to descend e d and then we're going to ascend e f and then descend g f so it's going to sound like this So that was um, two notes per click. Now let's try three notes per click. So we're gonna go up three notes, one, two, three, and then descend from the next one. One, two, three, and then up, one, two, three, and then descend the next three. Okay, so here we go. Two, three, and uh, four, and... Uh, Here we go. So you get kind of get the pattern now, right? So we're gonna go up four, one, two, three, four, and then descend from the next one up. One, two, three, four. So C D E F and then G F E D. Here we go. Two, three, E and a four E and a Let's do fives. So here we go. Um, for fives, it may take a minute for you to internalize the rhythm of that quintuplet. So you might want to try it just on the open strings first. So. You can think uh, in twos and threes. After, um, after like four notes per click, I think in twos and threes. So fives would be like um, a two and then a three. Um, and I don't even count, I think syllables, taka, takita, 
So Taka is two, Takita is three, or you can think um, like apple, pineapple. So apple, pineapple, apple, pineapple, apple, pineapple, apple, pineapple, right? So here we go with fives. One, two, apple, pineapple, apple, pineapple. sixes here we go so you can think uh pineapple 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 apple 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 <laughs> So that was six. How about seven? Um, for seven, I like to do two twos and a three. So it could be taka taka takita taka taka takita apple apple pineapple apple apple pineapple. All right, here we go. One, two, taka taka takita taka taka takita. <laughs> seven okay and I'm uh, with my right hand I'm using a combination mostly index and middle and sometimes the thumb um, you can find whatever way works for you if you use a pick um, alternate picking is is probably best for this down up down up down up down up but um, do whatever works for you um, maybe I'll do alternate picking for nah I'll save that I'm gonna still do index and middle for eight notes per click here we go one, so you can do taka 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 or apple 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 or you can do apple apple pineapple apple apple pineapple or you can do um you can do two pineapples and an apple so like pineapple pineapple apple pineapple pineapple apple taki to taki to taka taki to taki to taka so it's still eight but it kind of has a different groove to it right taka to taka to taka taka to taka to taka okay anyway um, let's do eights. Here we go. One, two, taka 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 taka. Maybe I'll do alternate picking for nine. Um, and I'm just using my index finger as a pick. So nine, um, you can do three threes. I think that's the easiest way. Um, or you could do the old uh, uh, Blue Rondo a la Turk rhythm, the um, three twos and a three. So that would be like, Taka 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 taki to taka 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 taki to taki to taki to taki to taki to, right? So let's do. I'm thinking three threes for this. I think it's simpler. One, two, taka to taka to taka to taka to taka to taka to. So there's nine. Awesome. And uh, we could do 10. I don't have sheet music for 10, but 10 um, I usually think of as uh, five twos. So if you can do uh, 
five with all downstrokes. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then you can do ten with uh, if you do the upstrokes too. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. So that would be uh Oh, sorry. Sorry, I was dragging a little bit, but you get the idea. Okay, awesome. Uh, let's do another position. We're going to do five positions in all. So um, hopefully you're still with me, your hands aren't uh, too sore. By the end of it, you'll probably see this muscle start to bulge out. Um, that's because you're getting stronger. All right, so the next position we're gonna do is uh, also gonna start from that same C on the sixth string, but this time with the pinky. So here's twos. Um, and if you don't know these positions yet, check out this video. Um, I go through all the positions of C major and that'll that'll get you up to speed. Here we go. Two, three, and four, and so I don't have sheet music for this one. Cause by the time we do um, all of them in one position, you should uh, probably understand the pattern and be able to apply it to whatever whatever position, whatever scale. threes, fours, here we go. And I'm using uh, shifts instead of stretches to get the notes that are out of position. Here's five. Still with me? Fantastic. 
Fantastic. Nine. Here we go. Tuck it to 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 tuck it. And then that's it for that position. And let's go on to the two positions that start with the root on string five. Okay, so these ones we're gonna go through the same process. And uh, yeah, we'll start with twos again. I think it's good to do it this way um, as opposed to doing every position in two. It I guess it depends on what you're working on. If you're wanting to work on getting all the positions together, then take one subdivision to all the positions. If you're working on getting your subdivisions together, do all the subdivisions in one position in case you run out of time. That way you accomplished what you were setting out to accomplish. So um, for this, I'm wanting to get all the subdivisions because that's... Uh, that's why I'm, I'm working on this, is for the rhythm aspect of it. Not so much learning the scales, because I already know where the notes are, you know? Okay, so we're in, uh, this is third position. So this is um, starting from the C on the fifth string, third fret. Here we go, twos. One, two, three, and four, and. Okay, here's a uh, five. Uh, 
Tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it. tripped I tripped over that okay let's take the other one that starts from the fifth string up here at 15th fret uh, the reason for that is because if we took it down here we would have to use the open strings which is fine we can, we can do it using the open strings but if you do it up here not using the open strings then uh, you can use the same fingering to play it in the other keys like if you wanted to do it in the key of E you could use the same fingering the key of F sharp. Um, so I'm at the 15th fret, it's the first dot after the double dots. Here we go. Um, and this position, in case you're unfamiliar, so three, uh, sorry, four, one, three, four, one, three, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four. and then we go down three, one, four, two, one, and then back up to C. Okay, so check out that other um, five positions of the C major scale in case if you don't know that. All right, here we go. Two, twos, three and four and. flat in there by accident that's all right I'm not gonna be mad at myself all right threes here we go two three and uh, four and by myself I'll go straight into the next subdivision so you should try doing that as well um, that was threes here's four two three uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. Taka 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 taka. I keep 
that B flat. I guess that F F major scale just wants to come out. All right, but we're sticking with C major for now. Let's do uh, here's seven. So taka 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 taka. Taka 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 taka. There we go. All right. Here's nine. Taka taka taka. something sketchy in there I'll have to work on that all right um, and then we're on our last position the uh, uh, starting from the fourth string second finger so this one uh, going up from C it's gonna sound like this okay let's start with twos here we go two three, and four, and. Taka Takita, Taka Takita. or switch to the next subdivision when I land back on C on a downbeat. So here's, um, that was sit five, now we're on six. Taka taka taka, taka taka taka. OK, 
Okay, so it takes a little bit longer to climb back up to C um, in this position because we have more notes underneath. Um, okay, that was six, now we're on seven. Here we go. Taka taka taki to taka taka taki to taka taka taki to taka taka taki to Taka 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 taka. All right, and then nine. This is the very last one. Are you still with me? How's your hand feeling? Mine's actually not too bad. I guess maybe I'm, uh, maybe that means I'm getting in shape. It's not, it's not stressing my hand out too much. Uh, nine, here we go. Hopefully I didn't speak too soon. Uh, tuck it to 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 tuck it. Awesome. Okay, so uh, let me turn the metronome off. So hopefully uh, you got something out of that exercise. I think if you do it often, um, you'll see big, big improvements in your playing, especially in your rhythm and when you're playing in odd time signatures or when you have to um, subdivide odd, odd meters and stuff like that. Um, this really, really helps with that. It helps internalize some of those... Um, some of those odd rhythms like sevens and fives and nines. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for, for sticking around to the end. And um, let me know how it goes for you. And happy practicing. I'll see you on the next one.